I believe um, the week has been busy. Yes. Uh, it's uh, Rotuman uh, Language Week. Uh, normally in Auckland, it used to be Fijian Language Week, but we're excited now that we also now have Rotuman Language Week. Uh, we know from uh, dialogues that has happened in the past few days that uh, it uh, has not been easy uh, bringing it to pass, but it has developed into something uh, bigger. Uh, last night, I believe you guys were at uh, a fashion show. Yes. Uh, there was the senior citizens' talent washers on, on Wednesday. That's right. And uh, there, there was the uh, hula fit thingy uh, going on at the uh, at the Fano community center. Slowly, the Rotuman community here at Tamaki Makaurau uh, begin to look busy. And now, um, from your own personal perception, I've been a mother here in our terror, yes. and your upbringing in the past. What are some of the challenges that you're facing now? Uh, in particular, when we are trying to develop Rotuman Language Week, and uh, the essence of the week is to teach our children language. Um, Nisambula and Noya Imaori. Uh, my name is um, Victoria Molia. So I was born and raised and did my education in Fiji. So as for me, being Rotuman, of Rutuman descent, Samoan descent, Fijian and European descent. So I've got a mixture of the different um, culture that I sort of sometimes find difficult, you know, trying to identify, okay, I'll be Rutuman. So I'll talk about Rutuman this way because it's Rutuman language way. So um, when, we, when I was at Fiji, um, my father, who's Rutuman Samoan, the Rutuma family was always in Lomaivuna, so I found it very exciting. Farming but community, Lomaivuna. Lomaivuna, the usual, so yeah. Very communal? The, yes, very, and very, and heaps of Rutumans mm. there. So I'm just going back from what I remember as a young girl, um, going to Rutuma, also learning the language and knowing my grandfather and my pa mapping farm, mapping honey, and my aunties and uncles and my cousins. So. We used to be called... Those two terms that uh, that you just mentioned, mapping, mapping fire, fire and mapping which, horny. Yes. So what is that? So mapping fire is, in Rotoma means like your grandfather, your like grandfather. grandfather, grandpa, and mapping honey is grandma, grandma, grandma. Yeah. So I was named after my dad's um, mum, mapping honey. So I call her mapping honey. So um, that's where I learned the the language and heard the language and when we went to Lomaivona it was always Rutum, you know speaking Rutuman language and I and for us we were more the as we used to call us back then the half caste. You must have find it really hard yes, I've it been was. a Rutuman uh, speaking English probably at school Spoken. but then having Fijian friends. Yes. How do you how do you balance? Um, we it was listening to because the language was all around us at home so we had rutuman fijian indian even our neighbors um, they also spoke rutuman they like they understood just the basic stuff so we sort of picked up you know the language or those different languages um from there but when we went to lomavona we knew we our rutuman was limited so we had to learn fast mm -hmm. and because we were I'm from a, we were poor, but for me, as I reflect back, it was such, it was just amazing, you know, just going back to where my identity was, you know, that I missed out when we were little. Like for me and my brothers, like I look back now. It must be hard. It is hard. And now that I've come to New Zealand, I, I want well, to Well, identity is big. Yes, identity, identity is Identity is huge in New Zealand. Yes, and to reconnect, I, I was lost in New Zealand because no one knew who Rutuma, Rutuma people were or Rutuma where was. So when I came to New Zealand in 87, when people would ask me, um, where are you from? Mm -hmm. I used to say, oh, I'm Rutuma, and they give this weird look. Where is that from? that from? And then you have to explain. So I, I admit there was a sort of years where I thought, why should I explain where Rutuma is? So I just said Fijian. And I was happy with Fijian. Mm -hmm. I felt comfortable mm -hmm. saying Fijian. And then after a few years, I 
started changing my perspective. Mm -hmm. So I thought I gotta explain, have that patience to explain where Rutuma is. Where Rutuma is. Yeah. And it only happened when I met my partner. Um, and I had to explain because he's Samoan and when they say Fijian, so they expect me to look, you know, Fiji was in fuzzy was here. Fuzzy hair. Yeah, and you know, and dark darker dark, complexion. Dark, that's the one. And when they actually meet me in person, they, you know, like, they get a shock. And then I said, no, she's actually Rutuman, Samoan, and Fijian. So it's, yeah. So that's when he started to understand the Rutuman sort of culture, my, my, mm. my identity, my culture. So. Now, fast track that history. Yes. You came in 1987. Yes. And now we're in 2023. Yes. Uh, you have children of your own here. Yes. And uh, now these children are, are born here. Yes. I assume that. Yes, yes, they um, are. So they all went to school here. Yes. We have a totally different upbringing back in Fiji. Yes. Uh, we don't talk back to our elders. Yes. Uh, there's no such thing as to why when you ask questions, yes. when we are told to do things. And uh, the laws are new. Yes. The society structure is totally different. And. Uh, Sometimes we are challenged as parents to uh, bring them up in the way that we were brought up back in the islands, but it is totally different. Definitely. They live in the 21st century. All things have changed and everything has evolved over time. Yes. Now, what is the challenge as a mother here in New Zealand? Having that background, and now you're part of this Rutuman community, which is trying so much, and I bet they have done so well this week to establish this Rutuman language with concept. Mm -hmm. Now, you are trying to pass on the language to your children, yes. the very language that you're finding really hard to identify with when you were a kid. Yeah. What is the main challenge? The main challenge for me is me l trying to learn and speak it. I understand it, and so when I hear my Rutuman people talking, it makes me reflect back to, you know, back in Fiji. I understand, but I can't speak it, and I'm finding it really hard myself now. At, you know, my, at this age, trying to just say the words, you know, because mm. I'll pronounce it, but it's not how the Rutubans pronounce it. So it's, it's not more the like, same accent. It's not it's the not same accent. It's more the European, yeah. I should say, plastic way of saying it. So for my children, they're doing better than 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 me. You know, like they understand, but. Um, they also do they speak it? No, we only they only speak it when we do our Rutuman language. But they understand it's it. Just the easy bits. Oh, right. Yes, yeah, and um, the yeah. So they more well. We can't be too hard on them. No, you know? they are <laughs> they are growing up in a very uh, diverse environment. That's right. They meet all sorts of people of from different ethnicities in school. They meet people from Asia. They meet people from the Pacific. Yeah. They meet Maoris, they meet Kiwi, they meet Palangis or everywhere. Right, yeah. uh, so, um, uh, to you as a parent, what is probably an objective or an aim uh, with regards to being a very important member of this community that is trying to build up something uh, very important here? Um, for, for me personally, is um, just getting our culture, our language out there so people know who we are and um, and also for for our children for my children for me personally is don't be don't be scared you know or afraid of who Rutuman people are and because um, I find because Rutuman you know the culture is not sort of well known so they're more drawn to the salmon culture so for me it you know I feel bad but I would want them to acknowledge that they are Rutuman and as Fijian well. as well. So yeah, and this is the only time of the year that they get to, that I make them participate. Have you been to Rutum? Oh no, no, okay. it's in Are in you thinking of? Yes, I am thinking. Probably having a trip the, there yes, sometime yes, soon? Sometime soon. With your children? With the children, and also hopefully I can go with some of my family back in Fiji. In the in the near future, because mm. I know there's um, pros, you know the process, the culture. You got to do things properly. So I just want to sort of share that with my kids mm. also, you know. What is one of the messages that you want to send out there to uh, Rutuman families who probably have not found their way into the hub, yes. but they will soon yes. after this coverage that we're doing? Uh, what is a message that uh, you want to put out there in particular 
when we know next year is going to be bigger and better. Yes, um, for me it's like, you know, please don't be afraid of who we are, who our identity, what our dent, who our identity, where we from, and our identity, and that's the main thing. Um, for me, it's just um, trying to just share it out there to other other people that Rutuma is part of, you know, we're part of Fiji, and just acknowledging our identity is is the main thing, and you know, and acknowledging also the. Um, the language, the culture, because everyone's sort of different, and so yeah.